As we've been reporting, smoke from wildfires in Canada has triggered an air quality alert for counties in our area. Here with some advice is Dr. Kristen Moffitt, an infectious disease specialist at Boston Children's Hospital. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Moffitt. Hey, Dr. Moffitt. It's great sure. to see you. I'm sure it's affected many of us, and I'll be honest with you. It, it, it was so bad the other day, I could almost taste it. So let's, let's take a look at this map. Th those yellow areas in the eastern and northeastern parts of the state are the trouble areas. I put trouble in air quotes, but the trouble areas right now. Who is most at risk? So the current air quality conditions are considered unhealthy for sensitive groups. So those sensitive groups really include people with any underlying lung or heart disease. Um, so that would include underlying respiratory problems like asthma. It also includes people who do a lot of exertional activity outside. So when we think about children, for example, any infants or children with any of those um, conditions or risks for exposure could be at risk for um, having some breathing problems with this particular degree of air quality. Yeah, let's talk a little bit more about kids, especially infants. What should parents do if they're outside and their child starts coughing? So if, if their child is outdoors coughing during conditions like these, heading indoors can be helpful for a number of reasons. Um, certainly, most obviously, it decreases the exposure to pollutants if indeed the cough is, is being triggered by exposure to these elevated levels of pollutants. We're also contending still with pretty high levels of seasonal allergens right now. So moving indoors um, could help improve a cough if the cough is due to exposure to allergens. Once they're indoors, um, if Anybody has a history of asthma and they're coughing after being outside, they should enact their asthma plan. Um, otherwise, if the cough is improving once they're inside, that's great. If anybody is having a cough that's not getting better or if they develop any shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, mm -hmm. then families should be in touch with their child's doctor. And, and, and Dr. Moffitt, is, as you know, in many, it's 88 here in Needham right now. In many areas, it's 90 degrees outside. Can a high temperature like that make respiratory problems worse? It can actually, and that's because some uh, the formation of some pollutants that contribute to, to bad air quality is actually driven by high temperatures. So when we're experiencing hot, humid weather, it actually can drive an increase in the level of certain air pollutants like ozone in particular, um, and elevated levels of ozone can certainly decrease the air quality. So these hot temperatures certainly can contribute to um, this worse air quality. Dr. Moffat, thanks for your time. Great to see you. And thank care. you so much, Dr. Moffat.